Alright guys, I just got the new Morel High Roller Dice Target. I've been shooting it today just a little bit and I've absolutely loved it. But I just wanted to show you guys a few different tips here. So we've got the 5mm FMJ, Easton FMJ, um, with a good, just smooth uh, hit insert there. And then we've got the Hunter XT, I think this is a 6mm um, carbon shaft. And then this one, we've got the Axis 5mm. And then we've got the TKO with a outsert. Um, that actually expands. So we're gonna see how that one pulls out. This one we've got a Ozcut three blade broadhead on it. So and that's on a FMJ as well So we're gonna shoot these all into the high roller and then we are going to test out and see how Easy they are to pull out as well as the stopping power that the foam has we're gonna shoot here on this four Dice face has not been shot. I've got five arrows So we'll do four here and then one right there in the middle that way you guys can kind of see a fresh target to make sure that you know it's not worn like this five I've shot a few times so it's gonna be fresh it's gonna be good so let's uh, shoot this a few times we'll be at about 20 yards all right first up is going to be the Easton axis this is the five millimeter carbon shaft We've got the FMJ 5mm shaft. Now we've got the FMJ 5mm with the uh, Ozcut broadhead up front. the TKO with the outsert. And all of these arrows are completely different weights and so I'm just lucky if I hit the target. Literally. Alright, so now we've got the Hunter XT 6mm carbon shaft. Let's go pull those out and just kind of see the penetration that each of them have and then how easy it is to pull them out. All right, guys, so we've got the five different arrows here. Well, Haley, bring the camera down close, show you guys. Um, so they're all about the exact same length. All right, so each shaft is about the same length. Um, so it's gonna show you the ones that have penetrated a little bit further, that TKO did penetrate, because it probably has that outsert, so it almost blows that foam out a little bit more. Um, the one that stopped is going to be the fattest shaft here. There's the six millimeter carbon shaft, the Hunter XT. And then we've got the FMJ, we've got the Axis four or five millimeter, another FMJ. So this one has the broad head on it. So right here is going to be a fill tip and a broad head. So you can see the broad head did penetrate just a bit further. So let's go ahead and pull these out. So first we are going to pull out this broad head. Okay, so that literally was super easy to pull out and we've got that uh, broadhead out. Now we've got the axis, Easton axis, pull that out. So that was a little bit harder, but still super easy compared to other uh, foam targets that I've shot. And then the FMJ, even easier. That's a little bit sleeker with the uh, full metal jacket. TKO with the outsert. I'd say that's pretty, uh, Pretty similar to that FMJ. And then here's the fattest one here, the Hunter XT Carbon. Okay, just as easy as the FMJ. So the hardest one was actually the uh, Axis. All right, so the hardest one to pull out was gonna be the five millimeter uh, Easton Axis. Easiest one was actually the one with the broad head. And it didn't penetrate more than maybe another inch like I showed you guys compared to the uh, field tip but this high roller super totally worth the the money i bought this on amazon for 125 bucks totally worth all of it 
Um, only weighs 12 pounds, so you can literally take this anywhere. Um, makes it easy, transportable. Uh, it is pretty small, so if you don't have it on a steady base, then we'll kind of twist and turn for you. So that's kind of a downside to it, but I, so far today, have extremely, extremely loved it. So um, that's just kind of my thoughts, guys, and the different arrow tips and everything, and how they are affected uh, shooting through the high roller foam. But just want to say thanks again, guys, for all the support on my channel. I really do appreciate it. I'm thinking about giving a bunch of these away. So comment down below on how I should give these away. And uh, we will figure out a way to get these out to a bunch of people. So big thanks again, guys. Comment down below. Like, the, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, go to hacksandhunt.com. Buy decal. Get you entered in to win any bow that you possibly want. But we'll see you guys next time.